Hello everyone, today I'm going to um, show you another way of make, of editing your photos using Pixelmator. And um, today's um, theme is more focused on blending. So here you can see a picture I made of uh, blending uh, uh, different pictures of tigers together and to make one like blended in picture um, which looks really nice. You can see and I'm going to show you step by step how to make uh, a picture like this. You can uh, do it with almost any picture. You can do it with any picture you want. So, I mean, uh, why not experiment around? So, I'm just going to show you how to do it with this. So, let's boot up Pixel Manor. I'm just going to close it and open it again. So, make a new one for you guys so I can show you step by step. So, you've got to create a new image. And you can uh, choose any size you want. Okay? If you want to follow my size, you can. I just click OK and I have my page right here. I'll put it up here. And um, you can just drag what it, so, so if you have your pictures in your desktop, you can just drag them into the page just like that, and then you get your pa uh, picture right in front of you. So I just want to adjust the size to make, you know, you can stretch it a bit. It's fine. I'll just make all these pictures you see over here in line, like how I like how I just showed you. So you know, just just make it a bit smaller. You can always experiment around. And um, I'm just gonna add. Picture. You want to make all these pictures um, around the same size, approximately, like you know, not exactly the same size. I mean, no one's you know, going to notice that much of a change in the size. So now that you've got you know two of these pictures, you want to keep a, um, a picture in the center, so you can see both of the pictures on the left and right blending into the center picture. So basically, it's like the lo uh, the focal point of your picture. So the um, attract attracting part of the picture. So basically, I'm just gonna add this here. It's the main part of my picture. The uh, the part which we're gonna be in the center. I'm just gonna make this smaller. It's way too big at the moment. Yeah. But like I said before, it's fine to stretch it a bit as long as you know, you make it a bit too stretchy. So you've got that. Um, you can fit it right into place. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same size, but um, of course you can. You know, Pixelmator is all about trying to get used to the tools, you know, experiment, experimenting around, being creative. So, once you've got these three pictures in line, you can uh, start using the eraser tool. And you only, you really only need one tool to bl uh, to blend in um, pictures together. And the tool, that tool is going to be the eraser tool, which is right over here. This, I'll just zoom it up for you. The eraser tool is a, it's a great way of blending in pictures. I'll demonstrate right now. So you want to keep the layers to the center picture. So you want the center picture to be the, the area you want to blend in through. So you have to put your layer as the, the picture in the center. Now you just have to um, go to view. You've got to change the tool options for eraser, if you haven't, to brush. So just to do this, you've got to go to view. Go to view and then go to show tool options right over here so once you've got that you get a little bar over here and um, you should change the mode to brush i already have it as brush but if you if you don't you can just switch it back to brush <coughs> you want to keep the opacity all the way up to 100 percent and now that you have your um your eraser tool ready to brush off you just double check whether all the layers are correctly in place yep that looks fine that looks fine as well. Okay, we'll start brushing it um, straight away. So you got to brush the areas which you want to be visible, like here. Like here, you can see the, the part of the tiger on the left, vis um, cutting through the areas of the tiger in the center. And now you can already see the blend into the um, tiger in the center. Looks really nice. You can do it slowly, you can always choose a different type of brush if you want to get the job done quickly. Take your time in this. It's a very it's very hard, I mean, especially if you want to go through these areas over here. Just be really careful. It'll be fine. Of course you can go through many areas. Okay, now you do the same with the other tiger. Over here. You can already see the blend between those two tigers on the sides.
now you can already see the change. Looks really nice. Very nice picture. Now look at that. That's that's it's really simple to make a picture like this. All you gotta do is just experiment around. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial. And um, thanks for watching, guys. If you need any uh, suggest, if you have any suggestions for me, or you want me to make any other tutorials, so uh, please uh, feel uh, feel free to post to um, give you to post comments uh, below. And uh, I'll definitely be posting more tutorials uh, in the future. Thank you for watching.